What happens with the Patriots as we approach the end of the year? What happens to Bill Belichick? What happens to the roster? Even that's going to happen sooner with the trade deadline coming up. So there are a lot of things that uh, we are going to get to here on Felger Mass that we've gotten to all week, but that is going to be the dominant topic. Certainly you want to get to other things. We'll do that as well. And let me just add quickly, you heard it on Zolak and Bertrand, who broadcast today from the Auerbach Center, that the uh, Celtics announced a new deal, new broadcast deal, an extension with 98.5, the sports hub. We will do some Celtics a little bit later in the program, but as part of Agenda Free Friday. So, who wants to go first? Murray, go. Yeah, sure. I think most rational people understand the Patriots season is, uh, for all intents and purposes, over. But we still have 11 games to go, which feels daunting considering how these games have played out. Uh, But we'll need to talk about them. And to talk about them, we need to watch them. So, uh, all I can ask for, and I think anyone else can ask for, is just please be somewhat entertaining. Um, Please, for God's sake. Because the last four games have been, even in the win against the Jets, have just been a brutal viewing experience, which leads me to Sunday's game. I think we're going to get a game. I, for some reason, I just think it's got more to do with the Bills than anything else. Maybe the weather's going to be a factor. The Bills are certainly going to win this game, but it's not like it's going to be. I just don't think we're going to get like what we saw against Dallas, what we saw against the Saints. I think the Patriots are actually going to try to show up because it's a divisional opponent. There's the institutional knowledge, all of that. But if you just look at Bills three games against good defenses, Jags, I think, proved last night, got a pretty good defense, maybe underrated against the Saints. But Jets, Jaguars, Giants. Bills have scored 16, 20, and 14 points. Eight turnovers in those games, mostly because of Josh Allen. Five interceptions. They've lost three fumbles. The point being, the Bills are still the Bills. They're going to find a way to get in their own way. They'll win, but I think it's going to be a closer game than people expect. Again, weather could be a factor. And maybe I'm just trying to will this to happen because of those last four games uh, that, again, they've just been brutal to watch. But I like the under, and I like the Patriots to cover the eight and a half. I think we're going to get a game on Sunday. Murray, I agree with you. Ted, go. Okay, uh, so I'm 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 uh, I'm going to use my opening take time to to talk about one of my favorite teammates. Uh, Mike Vrabel's being inducted into the Patriots Hall of Fame, which uh, is is tomorrow. Uh, him and Dante Scarnecchia, two of my absolute favorite guys that I was associated with when in my playing time with the Patriots. I love Mike. Anybody that knows me uh, knows how I feel about Mike Vrabel. I've uh, I've I've always been a big fan of his, and so I am a. a Fortunate enough that I, I will be there tomorrow and get to talk to him uh, and some, share some of my memories. But the first memory I have of, of Mike Vrabel, and Patriot fans should pr- probably have uh, this memory, was back in 1997. Um, if anybody remembers the divisional playoff round that we played the uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers in Pittsburgh. 7-6, to six, you guys My lost. man, yeah. of course, uh, Big Jim, you're going to know the exact score. It was said We lost 7-6. to six. Um, And on our final drive, we were driving down uh, midfield. And we, of course, all we had to do was get in the field goal range to uh, to kick a winning field goal. I know who causes the fumble. <laughs> Mike Vrabel sacks and forces the fumble from Drew Bledsoe to end the game, and that was my first impression of him. And so uh, I was, I loved, I, I just couldn't believe that we were fortunate enough to get him in 2001. He comes here, and we you know we win three Super Bowls together, and we had a hell of a linebacking core. But Mike was. He was the backbone of that linebacking core. I, there's there's a lot of things that made made him one of my favorite teammates. Um, it, just his his intelligence. He was a funny funny bastard. Uh, his energy was unmatched. Hardworking, uh, charismatic, confident, and very very consistent. Very much a high quality human being. And that's what I love about Mike. And and also when we go play the Steelers, he'd always have a case of beer on ice for us after the game when we leave uh, when we leave the Heinz field. So, but Mike is uh, being honored tomorrow and is going into the Patriots uh, hall of fame tomorrow. And I, and I absolutely love that beating out what Bill Parcells and, and, and Logan Makins, which isn't easy to do, but he was his, his energy and his, I would say his wit. If you ever want to get into a verbal jousting match with Mike Vrabel, good luck. Um, he will slice you up. He will take you down. Um, some of my favorite uh, moments would be in the locker room when he, him and Larry Izzo would get into it. Larry Izzo, uh, a very uh, paranoid person. If you ever met Larry, uh, we joke with him all the time. He was like Larry David, okay. very much in that <laughs> sense. Just always people are out to get him all the time. Very paranoid. <laughs> it was great. And so Vrabel, of course, attacked that. And uh, one of their favorite arguments was always where the best football was played. Was it the state of Texas or was it the state of Ohio? Of course, Larry Izzo being from the Woodlands uh, outside of Houston, represented Texas, and then Mike, of course, representing Ohio. And the two of them would get in these debates all the time. And Mike's final salvo, which was typically in Mike's <laughs> way of doing things, his final salvo was always, where's the damn football Hall of Fame at? 
boom, and he'd walk off. That is that is a typical conversation with Mike. You get into it with him. You 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 want to debate him on something. Good luck. Usually, more times than not, he will have a final salvo, which just will put you in your place. Wonderful person. I love that. Uh, I love that he's being honored tomorrow, and that I get to be there. But that my opening take is is just about Mike Vrabel and the kind of person he was, and in the and the way that he, you know, just brought it every single day was uh, was something to uh, to aspire to. So I I, uh, I love the guy, and so I'm I'm pumped that I'll get to see him tomorrow. All right, so uh, mine's going to be also regarding the Patriots. But, Murray, let me just say this quickly. Have you ever had the chance to meet Vrabel or talk to him? I have not, no. Okay, You'd let me him. just say everything that he just said is times 100. And when I say that, I mean the verbal jar, uh, the verbal sparring part, he'd be a great freaking talk show host. Oh. He would be great at it because what you see in front of the microphone is him playing the role of head coach and what have you. He likes to argue as much as Felger does. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying, the two of them used to go at it constantly constantly i witnessed it firsthand i was like holy crap and i always got the sense that it sounded like vrabel hated felger i think he actually <laughs> liked him oh yeah he did so again phone lines are open 617-779-0985 here's where i'm going to start jim harbaugh and the michigan wolverines are under investigation for stealing signs perfect <laughs> perfect i heard joe murray talk about this last night i said this is exactly what i'm looking for I have wanted Harbaugh to be the coach of the Patriots, Ted, for years. Mm -hmm. I've said he's the next guy. Harbaugh is the the, the guy you got to go after. That's the kind of guy. He's a psycho. He's he, uh, he connects with quarterbacks. He emphasizes defense at the same time. He is a real football coach and a little crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how long it would last. I think he and Robert Kraft would inevitably clash. I think he and the market would inevitably clash. I don't think it would be a long existence. It wouldn't last like 20 years. And there's a good analogy that someone made about who Jim Harbaugh is with regard to, you know, previous coaches, who you could compare him to. But if you were looking for a guy to come in and change and create a new identity for the Patriots and make them into a legit operation who will really put a stamp on it, Harbaugh is the guy. That said... I also have my reservations about him. And it has nothing to do with the cheating scandal. I couldn't give a rat's ass about it. By the way, did you know in college you can't scout games in person? I, I, I've been reading this story. I didn't it, know about this. All news to me. Yeah. You cannot You cannot send coaches to uh, an opponent that you're going to be playing that year uh, to, to, to see them play. I, I could not believe that that's the rules that they have. I was stunned. I had no idea. Apparently, they just do like a film exchange. Yep. Right, which is what high school teams do. I don't, yep. or more often than not, because you don't have the... The manpower in high school. I'm just except, going by. Except in high school, I think you can go scout the opponent that you have later d down the road on this that, that your schedule. Right. There's no rule prohibiting it. Correct. But more often than not, high school teams, I know this is how it's done here. In other states, I'm sure where, where it's a bigger thing, I'm sure it's different. But here, the high schools will just exchange film. We'll give you ours, you give us yours, and that's how we'll prep for the game. They do it that way. I was stunned to see that. I had no idea. I don't give a rat's ass that he cheats. In fact, I would say he kind of fits with the organizational standards <laughs> or lack thereof. Like, in, in that way, I tried to say, this is perfect. Bring him in. Like, well, why not?